Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update on this Thursday to radar first, because here comes the main part of the storm system. There's also a cold front associated with this. You can see the slug of moisture on radar. This is what will be hitting the Wasatch of Utah, the high Uintas, tonight through tomorrow morning with a significant amount of snow. And it will also force the rain snow line to drop because colder air is going to come rushing in with this area of precip. There's cold front with it. So that's going to bring the rain snow line down to a lower elevation in a lot of places. I also think this will affect Montana with some additional snow. I don't have much more in my forecast for Wyoming, but then eventually this all moves into Colorado and then it's your turn to add some significant snow and the low will actually cut off in parts of Colorado. Let me give you a little tour. And this is exactly what I was talking about in my last few updates. Where will the rain snow line be? And I finally pinned it down this morning to about 9,000 feet. I said, if you're above 9,000, you're going to get good snow in the, uh, in the Wasatch. And you can see it here at Honeycomb Canyon, you know, 9, 10, 10 and a half thousand feet. You've got snow accumulation up there. And we're in a little bit of a lull right now waiting on this main piece of energy coming in. But you can see the base area, Moonbeam parking lot, the express lift. There's nothing. It's, it's, there's no snow. It's just wet too low an elevation, too warm. That's again why you have to be above 9,000 feet. Now, here's Alta. Above 9,000, you've got great snow accumulation here on Sugarloaf Peak. But again, the issue is you got to be above 9,000. Now, with that main batch of precip snow coming in here tonight, tomorrow, we'll probably see that rain snow line drop even lower. But uh, it's still going to be the case that the best accumulation is going to be higher up. All right, here is the water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, the, the oranges and reds are your drier air aloft, is your drier air. The moisture is coming in in the whites and blues. And here's our main storm system digging into the Intermountain West. That's why uh, the main piece of this is now being delivered uh, with the cold front. Uh, again, tonight, tomorrow morning in Utah, in Montana, and then eventually the whole thing's going to move down into Colorado, where it's going to cut off over the four corners and sit for a couple of days and deliver heavy snow to southwest Colorado. So that's what's on the way. So we still have the main piece of this storm system on the way. Here are my bullet points. Bulk of remaining snow for Utah, Montana tonight. Hits tonight into tomorrow. In Utah, the heaviest snow will continue to be above 9,000, although the rain snow line is going to drop tonight to a lower elevation. In Colorado, the bulk of snow hits 1018 through 1019 and 1020. So your days are still ahead in, uh, in Colorado. Let me take you over to the um, forecast radar and satellite. So here it is, 530 um, today. And there's that main slug of moisture getting ready to move into parts of uh, Utah, Montana, and then eventually Colorado. Let me put it in motion. So there's Friday morning. There's Friday afternoon. Here's Saturday morning. There's Saturday afternoon. The low is spinning over the four corners and snowing hard in Colorado in the southwest part of the state. And then it's gone. And then it's just a waiting game. And there is another storm system that's going to move in around 1024, 1025, 1026, hitting the west coast. BC and then running across the northern tier in the inner mountains. You can see the snow there by 1026. Um, so let me just let me just run this first part again. I want to show you what it looks like. So there again is 5:30 right now. Now by tomorrow morning, much more widespread snow and blue, and there's a little bit left over over Wyoming as well. But a lot of it has transitioned down into parts of Utah, and then eventually it's going to be moving into Colorado. I just wanted to show you that piece of the storm system again. All right, my latest totals for this afternoon's update. So we still have about a foot on the way above 9,000. So that's Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. Um, we still have about a foot on the way. Another five, six, seven inches for, um, or we have another five or six, seven inches on the way for Park City, Deer Valley, and Snow Basin. About five on the way for parts of Bryan Head. Um, a little bit left over in Wyoming. Maybe another two to four up around parts of Big Sky, Granite Peak. In Colorado, uh, very light stuff if you're outside of the San Juan Mountains. In fact, I'll take you into the San Juans. Here are the latest numbers. So we have, an, we have another roughly foot to maybe two feet coming in in a lot of these areas. Anywhere in purple is more than a foot. Um, so we've still got more to the foot on the way over Wolf Creek. Uh, the Chicago Basin Group, Eolus, 
uh, Rio Grande Pyramid. Silverton's got about a foot on the way up on the mountain. Uh, Purgatory, Mid Mountain, and higher, about 13 on the way. Tell you ride, you got another six. Mid Mountain, and higher. And Tell you ride ran into the same thing that um, the Wasatch is running into. You know, you really have to be above eight or nine thousand feet to really get the best accumulation. Anything below nine thousand, and, and you really, it's just, it's still a little bit too warm. So. You know, that's even the case in a lot of Colorado. you got to be above 9,000. Let me take you just a little bit further north of the San Juans. And, and pretty light stuff here. I'm keeping it light in this afternoon update. One to four inches will do it for the uh, the West Elks. A lot of the I-70 quarter. There may be a couple of pockets of two, three, four, five inches. But um, this, is, this is not going to be one to write home about along the I-70 corridor. Up around Loveland, Breck, A Basin. Uh, Keystone, Winter Park, one to four inches of accumulation. And temperatures are obviously going to drop. So this is going to help with the snow making efforts up there and just a little bit of uh, from Mother Nature as well. Guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll end right here on the grand totals map. And again, this runs the rest of tonight through 1022. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Appreciate it. Take care.